boldly go where no man has gone before. Except for every other day this week. Good morning, everybody. As good as it can be. We got us a little bit of a snow flurry going on here in Washington State, central Washington State. Making the drive, I almost called it the drive at 5, but it's actually the drive at 3.30. A little slower than usual. This is Bill with Say What You Will, and I'm trying to miss my turn. <clears throat> here we are. And it is snowing. I got down here a little bit. Uh, our elevation uh, where our house is a little bit higher up, so the ground is white. It's snowing. I had to clean off my vehicle before I started it to warm it up. But now I'm on some wet, bare and wet roads, but it is still snowing. As you saw in my uh, preamble. Speaking of warming my car up, <laughs> there was an article out of the Yakima area, the Yakima Tribune, Yakima Herald. I don't know what it is. I saw this morning, can't find my turn. Where are they? <clears throat> now, here in Washington State, I don't know where you live, but it is illegal. Illegal. There's an RCW, 61 point something, point something, point something. Uh, RCW stands for Revised Code of Washington. Those of you who aren't under the torturous thumb of that document. Uh, that states a person may not leave a car unattended without first locking the engine, which I don't know what that means. Put it in park. I really don't know what that means, locking the engine. Uh, turning the ignition off, and if parked on a hill, turning your tires in towards the curb. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. You can get a ticket for not turning your cars in, your tires, ah, the tires of your car in towards the car curb if you're parked on a hill. Okay. Now, we do live in Washington State. Half of this state gets an awful lot of rain. It's not even half, but the left side gets an awful lot of rain. The right side can get absolutely pummeled with snow and the temperatures are a tad bit lower than one could expect on the west side. It also absolutely amazes me, sorry, there was a car going by there. You get a little bit of snow on the road and nobody knows where they're supposed to drive, so they drive in the middle of it. I'll just take my half out of the center, thank you very much. Do you cut cake that way? Do you take a piece of cake right out of the middle? I know somebody who used to, <laughs> just to piss my mom off. <laughs> yeah, that'd be dad. Not me, I never did that, I'd get my ass beat. Dad could get away with it. Anyway, he didn't like edge pieces. <laughs> anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you go out and start your car to warm it up and then you walk away from it, it doesn't matter if you have an extra key fob or not and you can lock it up. You're still, it's still running and you are in violation of the revised code of Washington 61 point something point something point something point something. Ah, I don't understand. There, there's a lot of traffic today. I don't know what the hell's going on here? Make the turn. Thank you. On my way. Mm. Um. Yeah, I normally meet one car on the road. I met him. And that's when I do this after he goes by. And that's car number four, where I don't even see cars usually. So now I'm angry. Why are you out driving around in the snow? You obviously have no business being out. <laughs> Only I am allowed to drive out in the snow. Kofi, hey, I'm in charge. All day. I'm not charged all day, I just go fei fei all day. Okay, back to what I was saying. So, if you lock your car, leave it running, you're in violation. Get a ticket. 
This uh, seems silly to me. And the main reason, the main reason, as I've ever heard put forward, is because you could get your car stolen. Think about that for a minute. What other property, a personal property, I should say, do they care so much about getting stolen if you don't lock it up or do certain things with it? Now, you live in other places like California, that pertains to weapons. You got to have them locked. I, I'm, I'm probably mistaken. Like, could ask Bruce about that. Maybe he knows. Um, but you have to have it locked up in your house, your own house. You have to have your weapons locked up again in your house that you lock up. Okay. Nobody gets to have access to those things in time of need. But why would the state care? if your car got stolen. What business is it of theirs? Or perhaps, maybe it's insurance companies that don't want your car stolen because, well, they gotta pay for that shit. You know, <clears throat> libertarians always talk about how insurance has solved the world's problems, and all I see insurance causing right now is part of the world's fucking problems. Why do you think healthcare is so expensive? because they'll pay it, and doctors know it, so they charge it. That might be oversimplified version of it, but I guarantee you, it, 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 uh, there's insurance behind things. Why do we have to have safety plugs in our house? Well, it's because the other ones might burn it down. Well, if your house burns down, what's the big deal? Oh, insurance has to pay out. That's right, yeah. So if you're a smoker, why is it harder to get insurance? Well, it's because you might have to pay for stuff. So, yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of insurance. I, I think it's a scam, big time. It's handy, but it's definitely a scam. Get into an accident. Get into an accident and see how long your insurance company keeps you. How It doesn't even matter how long you've been with them. See how long they keep you. See if your rates don't go up. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about you. My God. <sighs> Another day. Some jackhole has his damn Christmas lights up already. I am not amused. Anyway. Uh, I noticed that the Fifth Circuit of Appeals... Now they, you know, in the news, the Fifth Circuit of Appeals has made a stay against Obama's OSHA vaccine mandate or OSHA enforced vaccine mandate bullshit. Um, but the news makes it as a, you know, a, a, the Superior Court um, has, has blocked Biden's vaccine mandate. Well, yes and no. Uh, they make it sound like uh, the Supreme Court said, hey, no, man. No. Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. What does that mean to you and me? Well, to me, it means absolutely nothing because the Fifth Circuit is down in East, West, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, Arkansas, Alabama, somewhere down there. Hey, hey. We already talked about where I am. It's snowing. I bet it ain't snowing down there. <sighs> so, does that really mean anything to me? Can someone help me out on this? Because I don't know. Does it just for setting a precedence? I should have brushed my beard. It's all crazy. I don't know. So I read that. Which, that's encouraging to me. Just, I'm not going to lie. It's encouraging. But I, <laughs> I have a different circuit of appeals and... Uh, <sighs> Woo! I'm going to tell you, they, they ain't conservative at all. Next news story. The Honorable Governor 
J. Lepetta May Inslee has made a statement saying he will follow OSHA enforced vaccine mandate guidelines from Biden uh, pending any legal problems. So companies with more than 100 employees will have to follow the, uh, we'll have to have vaccinated uh, people or they got to get tested weekly. We still, no one's still explained to me who's uh, paying for the testing, uh, who has to get, you know, what, it just it doesn't make any sense, but whatever, let's just throw something out there. I'm the president, I say what I want. Everybody has to have cushioned toilet seats. Right now, damn it. Right. Um, he also stated, this is probably one of the wisest things that has come out of his stupid mouth, that he will not impose any further regulation beyond the vaccine mandate for businesses with 100 or more employees. Ah, Jay, you getting a little pushback there on your bullshit? Is your, are you afraid of a Governor Newsom-esque recall? Do you have people that want to back you? Should that occur? I have heard many, many stories of lifelong Democrats who are still lifelong Democrats, but hate the governor's guts. Welcome to the club. We got cake over in the corner, cookies over there. The Kofe Fay is hot and fresh. Well, I am hopefully don't have any police officers following me because I am all over the road and you can tell because I'm driving in the snow again. <laughs> I wish I could just spin this thing around so I could you can see. But I cannot. So I'm gonna go. This thing is being squirrely. I can't see where I'm going. I'm a hazard to everything. Did you all have a great day? It is Friday. And let's finish this out week out like we started it, which I, I started strong. And I'm finishing kind of kind of weak. I'm a little tired. Don't have it going on like I did at the beginning of the week, but we're going to finish. We made it. We got another weekend coming up. Got to grind on them side hustles sleep in just a little bit and then get up and grind i hope you all enjoy your weekend have a great day and as always say what you will because you know i will have a great day everybody i'm uh, gonna boldly go